My name is Julie Washington. I am a professor in the School of Education at the University of California, Irvine. My research focuses on the intersection of language literacy and poverty in African American kids. And in particular, I'm interested in how language variation, and in the case of African American children, that's African American English, which is a cultural dialect, how it impacts the development of early literacy skills, including reading and writing, and also um, just language skills in general, how the development of typical language skills is impacted by being a user of a variation of American English that really impacts oral language. We're doing a lot of interesting things right now and all of them sort of begin and end with changing the deficit focus and the lens that is shown on kids who are growing up in poverty, kids who are brown and black, um, and moving us toward a more strengths-based perspective. Understanding what kids can do instead of what they can't do. Um, and so that is really the focus of every project we do, whether it's instruction or assessment or um, experimental. It's all focused on you know, learning what kids know, what they're good at, and how we can leverage that to be better at what we do. The Atlanta project is really interesting because we have these instruments that we use to assess linguistic skill. And when a child produces an answer that is in their own linguistic system, we count it as wrong. Um, even if the answer's right, if they don't produce it exactly the way we expect, it's wrong. And um, that has been a problem for African-American kids. So what we're trying to do in um, Atlanta is to take some of the traditional psycholinguistic tests that have been developed and have been um, tested and found to be valid over time and to develop um, dialect responding in those tests. So for example, if I say, one of them is um, sentence repetition. So I say a sentence and you say exactly what I say. So I say, um, this is a red car on the highway. And an African-American child might say, this is a red car on the highway. Well, that second one where is is deleted is actually a completely valid way of saying that in African-American English. So what we're trying to do in Atlanta is to allow that to be a response for kids because it is appropriate in their language system. In Oakland, Oakland's exciting too. We're doing a project, it's called Project Stellar, and we're working with fourth through sixth grade African-American kids. These are kids who are struggling to learn to read and have reached fourth to sixth grade with pretty good word reading skills, but not very good at reading comprehension and reading fluency, which is how smooth you read. They think reading is just some hard thing like math, that either you can do it well or you can't, and I'm not gonna be very good at it. And so what we're trying to show them is that they're excellent with oral language. They're really good at sort of verbal sparring and talking to you about things. And if we can teach you to be as good with print as you are with oral language and to make the connection between the two, that the way that you talk is exactly what you see on a page. The things you're saying, that's what you're reading. So we're really trying to move kids and start with oral language and move them to text. Instead of thinking about text as the first sort of line with reading. And so we're trying to figure out what variables are really important for improving the reading outcomes of kids who have the building blocks of reading, but need to make it to the next level of reading.